Fatid Mark Babay, and welcome back to the Rizal Memorial Football Stadium for continuing coverage of the AFF Women's Championship 2022. Filipinas contra Thailand here for the final group match of the teams, and watch out for our national anthems. Some people might call the Tamarind Derby, but honestly, I don't know. I want one, Ryan, pero tignan muna natin to. The Philippines, uh, as of late, has been very colorful, no? Sa SEA Games, it's a beaten, and of course, they were beaten by a team that was more used to playing at a high level. At tayo, hindi pa daw sanay. And of course, on the other end, sa AFC Asian Cup, which her shot, they have yet to score from solid build-up play against Thailand, Ryan. If you th if when you consider that, is that something we have to watch out for? Definitely. Alam mo, I'd just like to add to what you said, no? Uh, nakakatuwa yung mga friends natin sa Facebook. And one of them uh, caught my eye. Ang sabi nila, the first game na panalo natin sa Thailand was a new hope. <laughs> Between Thailand and the Philippines. Thailand and the Philippines ended the first half with a scoreless, with a scoreless result. And both teams only were dangerous from set piece opportunities. Nothing to separate these two teams in the first half. A lot of chances, mainly through set pieces. Philippines and Thailand uh, almost breaking the deadlock, but good defense from both sides prevented that. And this was a good chance from Cowart in the first half. Of course, here's another look at that. See Cowart, her left footed shot just cannoned off the keeper's hands. And again, the Philippines and Thailand exchange good opportunities from corner kicks. As we see here, that block from Kinli Quesada as she turned into a defender for a moment. At ito naman, we have an example of the physicality that we've seen here so far. As uh, there they had it, Cowart having to do a duty foul and opportunities again from a free kick. It really was something that you, it was difficult to get through open play here, Ryan, for chances for both teams. In the first half as well, they targeted Dom Randall at the left-back position. In the second half, it was a much more open game. Mas maraming chance from both sides. Carly Freeless actually being very busy in the second half with that shot earlier. And this one could have been a shot for her, but she missed hit it. it almost led to a Thailand counter-attack. And of course, uh, Arcidel Tupa, so if you hear the mic on on the side, he'll be able to interview a few a few people here in just a bit. Back, we're going to mic test. Natin. Chill muna dyan, Sidel. As we take a look at some of the other highlights here, there's another foul there from Carly Freeless on the opportunity. Again, that came right after a corner kick. And the set pieces are going to be something that'll be interesting to see throughout the knockout stages. As you see, one of the better opportunities here para sa Pilipinas. Uh, that shot straight at the keeper, their keeper, Arguably a lot more busy than our our own in Olivia McDaniel, right? Katrina Giu being very busy all game long. And that time almost providing the assist for a substitute Anika Castaneda. The keeper in fine form as well, a Thailand keeper. But this one was the pivotal moment, Paolo. Of course, take a look at that. The misinterception and just pounded on there. We talked about it. Uh, ad nauseum at some point that high balls into the box were something that they struggled to deal with in Southeast Asian games and that was true again there. Well, Dom Randall, her, her head uh, hiding under her arms and she knew that uh, the moment the ball was not collected that it was going to be a goal for Thailand. Serena Bolden, the substitute, tried to inspire Philippines to come back. Well, that was a penalty shout a while ago and that one actually, it hit the top of the bar but it did not uh, it actually went out to her for a goal kick and of course a last last minute save there from Olivia McDaniel just to ensure it's just 1-0. So now let's turn over to our Sedel Tupas in just a bit. Because, but at the moment we're going to take a look at the full-time stats here. So the number of shots here, relatively close, Ryan, but then do you feel that the stats reflect the game? Well, five shots on target for us, four for Thailand. Just reflective of how close the game is. So right now, our Suda Tupas is with Okamoto, the head coach of Thailand. Let's hear from the At the Rizal Memorial Stadium, the 
find the opponent will be decided on very soon. The schedule also will be decided as well as we take a look at the Thai team celebrating a win here against the Philippines for the AFF Women's Championship 2022. We can't wait to see you for the upcoming games and hopefully the Philippines will end up battling in the final and moving forward. Marama salamat and we hope to see you then. Opos Pal de Rosario alongside Ryan Phoenix on behalf of the hardworking men and women here at the Result Memorial Stadium. Have a great night.